Hi everyone. Today we are going to learn how to make picture graphs. So you're going to need a few things. You're going to need your Go Math book, chapter 10, a pencil, and you're going to need a few counters. You might not have counters at home, which is okay. You're just going to need to have little items to help you count. You can ask your guardian for beans or Cheerios or maybe little erasers if you have them around. When you are ready, please turn to page 581, okay? When you're ready, let's begin. Put your finger on listen and draw. Are you listening? Are you ready? Okay, let's start the problem. Asaf has six baseballs. He has four bats. Does he have more baseballs or bats? This is the picture of the baseball, and I'm gonna show you how do you show a picture for this picture graph. Now remember, boys and girls, a picture graph helps us organize our information and see how many of each item there are. In picture graphs, you're only drawing a picture. You're not drawing or writing any numbers in these boxes. So you're just going to draw the following to show your work. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now you try. Okay, now we are going to show you how to draw the bats. I'm not going to draw pictures of actual bats here. I'm just going to draw the picture of the counter. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Okay. I'm going to give you a second there. You can draw your picture now. And then when you're ready, I will read the third part of this problem. All right. So it says here, which has more? So let's count. How many baseballs do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six baseballs. And how many do I have for baseball bats? One, two, three, four. I only have four baseball bats. So you can see here that there are more baseballs than baseball bats. How many more? Let's see. So if you count here the extras, there's two more. One, two. So there are two more baseballs than baseball bats. So we're gonna circle baseball. I'm going to give you one second to fill in your page two, okay? When you're ready, you're going to turn to the next page and we're gonna work on some problems on how to create a picture graph. Now remember, in this picture graph here, it shows that there are more baseballs than baseball bats, since there are six baseballs than, and four bats. All right? When you are ready, we're gonna turn the page, okay? Okay, boys and girls, so now turn to page 582. We're going to work on the model and draw. The problem says, are there more black or white sheep in the picture? Make a picture graph to find out. So let's look at the picture that we have here. Look at all the sheep that are in the meadow. So now let's start with the black sheep. How many black sheep do you see in this picture? Let's count. I'm going to use my pencil or my magic pencil to cross out the black sheep that are in this picture. So you can do it too with me. Are you ready? 
Okay, let's start. One, two, three. To show this information, I'm going to draw circles to show how many sheep I crossed out. Are you ready? One, two, three. There we go. Now it's your turn. Are you ready? You're going to fill in this part here. How many white sheep do you see in this picture? I'll give you one minute to draw your picture, okay? You may begin. Remember, each circle stands for one sheep, okay? All right, let's check our work. How many white sheep do you see in this picture? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. There are five white sheep in the meadow. So now I'm gonna take this information and I'm going to draw circles to show each sheep that I crossed out. Remember, there are one, two, three, four, five. Five white sheep in the meadow. So I'm gonna draw five circles. Are you ready? Let's begin. One, two, three, four, five. Now, the question says, there are more blank sheep. Which one has more? Let's take a look. Let's go back and look at our picture graph. Let's count the black sheep. One, two, three. Let's count the white sheep. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to write my number right here to remind me right here and I want you to do the same too. So now which one has more? The black sheep or the white sheep? The white sheep has more. So you can see here there are more white sheep than black sheep. There are more white sheep than black sheep. There are two more right here. So I'm gonna write the word white, W-H-I-T-E. Can you do that too? I'll give you one minute to fill this in. Okay, now let's move on to the second problem here. I'm going to give you the numbers for these problems. It's a little bit challenging to ask 10 friends right now because we're not in class, but I'm going to model this problem using numbers that I'm going to give you, okay? So right here, I'm going to cross out this part here. So I want you to do the same. You are going to put the number seven for cats and four for dogs, okay? Now, I'm going to show you how to draw our circles to show how many children like cats and how many children like dogs. Are you ready? Seven children like cats. So I'm going to draw seven circles right here. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, for dogs, I'm going to have four circles. Remember, each circle stands for one child, for one person. Since we're unable to ask 10 people right now, Ms. Chan is going to give you the numbers to help you out for this problem, okay? Here, we have all our information filled out for cats, and we have all our information filled out for dogs. Let's start answering our questions. How many children chose cats? Let's go back up here. Let's see, how many like cats? Seven, seven children like cats. And how many children chose dogs? How many children? Let's count, one, two, three, four. So four children like dogs. Which pet did more children choose, cats or dogs? Hmm, that's a tricky one. So let's go back and take a look at our pets, cats and dogs. So right here, it looks like a lot more like cats, all right? There are three more who like cats compared to dogs. Only four like dogs, all right? So now I'm going to circle the picture cats and voila! We made our picture graph and we showed our favorite pets. Okay, boys and girls, let's take a pause here and I will continue in one minute and have you finish this page all by yourself first, okay? Okay, now boys and girls, you're going to turn to page 583 and you're going to complete this on your own page all by yourself. Now, I know it says that you should ask 10 friends on top here, but you can ask your family, whoever is home to help you with this problem. And when you're finished, you can also complete the next page. It's the problem solving and applications page, okay? When you are finished, I want you to take a picture of your work and send it to your teacher. And make sure when you're finished to have some someone at home to check, okay? Alrighty.